Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank Malarsic and in this video, we're gonna be looking at my dividend portfolio and all the uh, companies I bought in the month of September and all the dividends I received. Can't believe it's October already. Um, so that means we have to make this video and we'll get right into it. Um, just looking at the spreadsheet before we update um, all the buys we did make and the dividends, I just wanna go through and you know, kinda give a general overview. So if you wanna pause and look at anything in specific, uh, you can do that. Right now, it looks like our biggest holding is Microsoft and JP Morgan. And before the start of the month, at least we had about $250 in cash, which um, happily we were able to deploy some of that, now, which I'll show you guys real quick. And also over here on the right, as you can see, uh, we did have two nice dividend increases from JP Morgan from $3.60 to $4, um, which was about 11%. And then the Microsoft dividend increase was about 10.7% from $2.24 to $2.48. So both of those are super awesome to see. And that gives us a current yield of 2.8% with an annual income projected of $39.41. And right now our dividend CAGR is 6.72%. We definitely want to get that up a little bit closer to 8% ideally, uh, but you know that is a work in progress. It's going to take time for sure. And 15.1% uh, of the portfolio in cash at the moment, uh, at least at the beginning of September, we'll have to look at uh, where that is at the end of the month to uh, compare those, I guess. Um, and if you want to pause and look at anything here, you can. But right now we're going to go over to Fidelity and uh, you know download our transactions. So here's all our transactions from September 1st to September 30th. Uh, so we're just going to download this file here. And um, it's actually a little bit annoying because it looks like they changed sort of how they label or describe some of these transactions so it's a little bit more difficult for me to you know uh, discern in some cases whether it's a dividend or whether i bought the company um, at least in my python script so there's probably going to be a small error here that we're going to have to deal with but we're just going to run that for now and um, see if it that error shows up and then we'll correct it and i'll have to figure out something in the future uh, to you know figure out how to correct that within the code so uh, this is going to run and it'll probably take a few minutes. So we'll come back when that's done and we should see some updated transactions in this tab right here. All right, so the script just finished running and as you can see, we deposited about $74.88 of cash into the account this month and $45 of that was the regular deposit we make every month. And then I got almost $30 um, from my credit card rewards, I have a credit card with Fidelity. So I just dumped that into my dividend account any rewards I get there um, and then buys this month it was only with two companies but uh, some of them were pretty significant uh, air products and chemicals we bought about $40 worth there at an average price of around $265 and then Abvi we bought about $150 worth at $108 per share and those were you know spaced out over the course of a few days but um, I did initiate a new position in Abvi which I'm super excited about um, just a super great company and they you know the stock price just went down pretty drastically at the beginning of the month and it's kind of been trading in that you know level since then and there have some been some dips down below um you know where it was even at the beginning of this month so i was able to take advantage of that and i was pretty happy with that so in total we invested about 189 dollars uh this month which i'm pretty happy with and as far as dividends go we got quite a few here we got about 40 cents from travelers about 23 cents from amcor one dollar 15 cents from exxon mobile 25 cents from Microsoft, 94 cents from the Southern Company, 83 cents from Pfizer, 49 cents from Johnson & Johnson, and 33 cents from Aflac. And that leaves a total uh, dividends for the month of $4.62. Um, and this is just the transaction sh uh, sheet here on my spreadsheet. And you can see this uh, cash. I'm just gonna leave a little note here that says credit card rewards. We know that's what we're looking at there. Um, as to why I made that deposit and then if we look at the dividend payments those got entered in here as well um, So if we look to these monthly dividends uh, this month, you can see we got four dollars and sixty two cents in dividends Which is just a few cents above June of 2021 a few months ago, so it's not that much bigger um, But you know it is a little bit bigger and uh, over time, you know It's just is continuing to go up. So that is what really matters to me and that's what um, I would say is the most important so that's what you know. I'm excited to see is just that steady increase over time uh, for the quarter. 
Obviously, that was the last month of the quarter, so we finished out with $9.46 in dividends for that quarter, which was a little bit above Q2. Again, uh, just steady increases over time is really all I can ask for, and um, that's really what I want to see, you know, nothing crazy. Um, and then also dividends by year. So far, we've made $26.78 this year alone. Um, so we got about three months left, and we'll see how far we can get. Um, we're going to go back actually to the overview page here, and it's not going to look uh, quite exactly right just because of, uh, you know, the AVV position. So what I'm going to have to go in here and do, since I am adding a new position, I'll have to add, you know, AVV in here. Um, so let me select all of these rows here, and then I will be able to I'll just copy the formulas down. If I copy these formulas down here, oh, and then uh, some of these numbers, you know, won't be quite right. So I'll just delete their values for now um, because these are, you know, brought in by the script uh, that I have written. Um, so, you know, whenever I next update it, then it will uh, um, add itself in there. And I'm not sure how many years of increasing dividends Abby has. I think it should be close to 45 or 50 maybe, or maybe it's closer to 25. I forget actually. Um, and then we can go over here and change its name to ABBV. Um, and then we can change it to be the healthcare sector. And then that gives us our shares of $1 or 1.38 shares. Um, so now we can look at these summary statistics. Right now, our dividend income is $43.94 projected. Um, and that's up pretty significantly, I think, from $39 at the beginning of the month. And uh, a lot of that's obviously from AbbVie. They have a pretty nice yield there. Uh, so our dividend yield right now is at 2.75%. Um, the average three-year CAGR is only at 6%. Um, I expect that is just sort of because we don't have one in here for AbbVie yet. Um, I had to guess. I think it's probably around 15% maybe. Um, I cannot be positive. So in that case, that brings our average to 7.44%. Um, but... I will just delete that for now and let the script update it and then in the future we can see uh you know where that's at you know actually i think i'm going to put that in there or actually i'll maybe look up uh their you know average for the past few years uh just so we can have a look there um as to you know our summary statistics and get a good idea uh, of what that is looking like so if we go down here the average for the past five years is 18 percent um, uh, I think the one I'm looking at here is uh, three years, um, but I'll just put 15%, like I said, uh, just to be a little bit conservative. But that does give us, uh, for our portfolio, an average of 7.44, which is pretty awesome to see, actually. And going over here, now we're only 8% cash. Um, healthcare is 18.2%, which is probably a bit higher than I would like to see. Um, but, you know, we'll see what we do with that sector going forward or maybe just some other sectors in general. But overall, I think I'm pretty happy with this new addition to the portfolio of AbbVie. Um, I'm really excited uh, for a lot of the things that they bring as a company to my portfolio. And now that we have that dividend CAGR in there, we can update these numbers. And we can see the dividend increase or the dividends per year went up by about 12% this quarter, which is pretty awesome. And our dividend CAGR also went up about 11%. Um, so honestly really uh, a great company in avi i think and as you can see just from these metrics already um it's uh, a good addition to the portfolio i think because of uh some of those reasons i just listed um this is the performance tab i'll actually have to make a slight change i think here um since i don't quite have avi in here yet um but i'll figure that out in a little bit uh but for now um just want to check in and see how your guys' dividend portfolios are doing. Um, and, you know, if anyone else did take advantage of that dip on AbbVie, um, I think a lot of people were probably excited to see that and may have taken advantage. So let me know if you did buy AbbVie this quarter or this month and uh, how much dividends you received this month. And I will see you in the next one.